Hello, I'm Eric Singer with Switchbacks FC, your home for everything that is the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. My city, my team. Home cooking sure helped the Switchbacks get on the right road against Sacramento. Head coach Steve Trichu is here with the positives and what can be improved on. So coach, let's get right into it. Analysis of the Sacramento game. You know, I thought the Sacramento game was really good. I thought it was probably one of the better games that we've played this season. Um, it wasn't 90, 90 minutes full, but uh, for the most part, I thought we controlled the game. You know, there were a, a couple times in the, in the second half that I thought Sacramento took the game over, but defensively, we were very good. And, um, you know, we, we got a goal off a restart, but the good thing is we keep creating chances inside the box, and sooner or later, we're gonna score all those goals and hopefully blow out a team one of these days. But all in all, I thought the game was, was very well played, both teams. Sacramento's a top team in this league, so for us to beat them, the only time we're playing them this year was a good plus for us, and to win at home is another plus. Coach, let's go back to that friendly match against SSV Mines 05. Takeaways from that game, even though the switchbacks lost. Yeah, the, the Mines game was very special for us. Uh, you know, it was the first time we've played an international game in our stadium, and probably one of the first time a Bundesliga team has been in the state of Colorado. I can't remember when, but you know, Mines finished sixth in their in their in the table last year. We're one of the only teams to beat Bayern Munich last year. We'll play in the Euro Europa League this year, and so you know, I knew going against them, we had to be a real realistic. They were they're a top team. Their speed of play is a lot quicker than ours. Their their tactical thinking is a lot quicker than ours. But you know, the guys the guys gave a great effort. You know, we, we came off a game playing Sunday, then turning around playing Tuesday. We had we had tired legs. Um, but you know, I thought they, they gave a great a great effort. Uh, but obviously, Mainz was the top team, and we'll take a lot out of that game. So the, the big thing about it is the speed of play of that team is was much better than ours. Coach, what did you learn about yourself and the coaching staff from the Mines game? Yeah, you know, we, we went and watched uh, Woldy, Woldy Harris and I, we, we watched uh, Mines train a couple times. And just to see, you know, what they do in training, it's not a lot, of, lot different than what we do in this country, but it's at a different speed. And so we've got to get our players, you know, not just our players, but you know, all American players to be able to play at that t type of speed. And that'll get us up to the, to the, to the rest of the world. But uh, it was really great to see them. We, we got to mingle with them a little bit with the coaches. And so we learned a lot from them. And um, hopefully we could take that into using it with the switchbacks. Now, let's look ahead. You are playing the Swope Park Rangers, Kansas City at home. So what are you expecting from this team and from your team? Yeah, Swope Park, they're, they're a solid team. Uh, I've been telling the guys, you know, they have a very, they're a very good attacking team but we have to come and play our game at home. Uh, I've been telling the guys we have seven games home left to play in the, in the season. We have to win all of them. And the, the, the last week against Sacramento was a start. Now this is the second game for this week for us, uh, but we've got to take it to them. We've got to keep up the speed of play against these guys. Obviously always use the altitude to our, to our, altitude to our advantage um, and, and get the victory. This is the only time we get to play Swole Park this year. And so we've got to make sure we get the three points at home. Coach, one new player on loan from the Rapids to the Switchbacks, Joe Greenspan. So how is the Switchbacks relationship with the Colorado Rapids? You know, our relationship with the Rapids is going really well. Um, my relationship with Paul Bravo and Pablo Mastroni has been great. You know, we, we're in contact constantly about players, what can help us and, and how we can help them. And so we're, we're just trying to develop that relationship. You know, we've already already had Joe Greenspan in and he's, he's helped out in a couple of our games. And hopefully in the future we can get more players and, you know, cause they're gonna help us get into the playoffs and then beyond and hopefully get it, bring a championship to, to Colorado Springs. Thanks coach. Now let's talk with Switchbacks player, Davey Armstrong. Davey, Annie Kaufman asks, you are a homegrown player from Denver. So what does it mean for you to have Colorado friends and family in the stands? Well, Annie, it's, uh, it's great, you know, feeling the love of my family, feeling the love of my friends, all of them coming out to support me, even through all the adversity. It's great, it, me it means the world to me, and, and they've been so supportive, them and the fans, and it's been, it's been awesome to have them be behind me. Davey, how are you developing as a player with the switchbacks? Honestly, I've, uh, I believe I've, I've been able to develop every day, you know, coming through with this team, with the coaches. Um, every day, what I mess up on the day before, I'm, I'm able to correct it the next day. And then just to be able to hold myself at a high standard every day, um, 
I believe it has helped me develop to the player that I'm striving to become. Davey, your future. What do you hope to get from the sport and give back to fans and your community? You know, um, for my future, I've always believed that I've gotten my talents um, from gifts from God. So I'm hoping to be able to use the sport to give back to charities, to help out with the community, and help spread the word of, of Christ to everyone. Thanks, Davey. Got Switchback's comments or questions for the next show? Go to the team's Facebook and Twitter pages. Coaches and players could answer you on the next show. Thanks for watching Switchbacks FC. Remember, the Switchbacks are at home Wednesday the 20th to face Swope Park Rangers, Kansas City at 7 p.m. Then away in St. Louis, Saturday the 23rd at 7 p.m. Remember, you can watch that away game live on Gazette.com. I'm Eric Singer. We'll see you next time. Go Switchbacks!